Hi everyone, today is June 16, uh, 2013, a beautiful afternoon, Sunday afternoon. Uh, what you see here, uh, it's the bitter melon plant, and this is one of the fruit, and uh, the bitter melon's been uh, producing a lot of flowers, and uh, the fruits are forming. So here's the first fruit that I, uh, that I see. Uh, this is about four inches long now, maybe two inches in diameter. Uh, the fruit is it's, uh, slightly grayish to green. Now eventually it will turn a little more uh, green, darker green with a shiny coating on it. Right now it has kind of like a little uh, grayish film on it, but eventually it will be very, very green and shiny. So this is a very beautiful fruit here. And let me see how many fruit can we find. So this is one of them. And as you move up here, on the other side, I see another one. Now here's another one. This is a beautiful one too. This is also about maybe four inches. And this is a perfect uh, melon fruit look like. Uh, long, elongated, uh, slender but elongated. Uh, the fruit can actually be even ten inches long and maybe three inches across. And the, uh, the plant so far has been doing quite well. Um, not exceptionally well uh, because I see some signs of, uh, of uh, I guess fatigue, I don't know what to call it, maybe fatigue. And sometimes the plant actually um, sheds some of the leaves because it's after producing uh, uh, so much fruit and flower and vine, it, it sometimes it likes to shed some leaves. That's based on my observation. So eventually the, some of the leaves will turn kind of yellowish and it will actually fall on the ground. So as I plant, imagine it, the plant is climbing up this trellis here. This is about six feet tall. And then hopefully it will spread out eight, another eight feet across this way, and here across this way. So so far uh, I see probably about ten fruit so far, or maybe more. So as you can see here, and this one is a tiny little one, an inch here. Uh, let's see how many can we find. So that's one, two. It's a beautiful one here. Four, three, four here. Uh, this one we don't know yet. It might turn to fruit, it might avoid. Same thing with this one, we don't know yet. But here, this goes up the, uh, the trellis. There's another one, it's five, six. This one might not turn into fruit, this one might be avoided. So here, this one's seven, a little curly twisted, a little bit. And of course on top, there's also plenty of uh, flowers and fruit here. Let's see that? And here is another one on this side. Look at that, that's a beautiful fruit here. And here too. So there's about maybe over 10 to 12 fruits so far that I can actually spot. And here's another one inside here. I think right there. Okay. And here, this side. And on top of the trellis, there are some here. You can see here. So the plant is doing quite well. Uh, I will continue to feed this plant. I will probably add more compost to the mix and uh, I'll continue to, to feed it with the nice compost during the food production. As you can see here, this is one of the aborted fruit. It will turn kind of a like rush and it will drop on the ground. It's a nice, nice, decent fruit here. And I also transplanted uh, two other plants to, to the uh, other side of my garden. I think that the box that I have here is only 18 inches uh, across uh, and I think they overly crowded. Initially I thought it was okay but I think that I made the mistake because the soil I think is too too small. I definitely think the, the 18 inches is, definitely, is a little bit too small for the uh, three plants. So I try, try and plant two of them to my other side of the garden and hopefully those will do okay eventually. Uh, look at this beautiful fruit. Look at this. All right, then that is my uh, latest update on the uh, bitter melon, and hopefully I will be able to harvest this within another few. This guy will probably be ready soon within another few days. Uh, once they establish, they will grow very fast, and bitter melon is a very, very. Uh, uh, prolific of wine, they can produce a lot of fruit for you if you uh, really take care of it. So this is my uh, latest update.
on my bitter melon plant.